Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Princeton Tigers and the Duquesne Dukes. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Dukes are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Next, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Thirdly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. It's crazy in here, Brad. Ten on the shot clock. From the top of the key. Makes the shot. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Chandler handles the pass for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Here's the three ball. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Try to go inside. Pump fakes. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the block. Ten on the shot clock. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Sinks it. by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Trying to feed inside with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Four. 
Dumps it in. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Looking for a good shot. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Kicks it out. Ball down low, but it's kicked out. He's got a high post flasher. Shoots. Tickles a twine. Picked off. Dyer receives the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. They work it around the perimeter. They look to get it to the inside for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. Got a man in high post. He shoots from the baseline. Can't get it to go. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. the perimeter he shoots from downtown scorches the net this whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job he shoots from right of the circle nice shot Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Got the shot if he wants it. Shivers fakes the shot. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Cardi handles the feed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Chandler receives the ball. On the outside. For two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Shoots it. There was no doubt about that one. They scored nine in a row. Look at that spacing. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> Time to pick up the defense here now. He looks for the bomb. 
Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. They move it into the front court. From beyond the arc. Oh, yes. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Shivers is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. The man is off the charts, Brad. Puts up the shot. Got it. Oh, four, four, three. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Gave it up. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork. He doesn't move and beat him to the spot. High post player flashing. On the dribble, gives it up. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Let's it fly. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. At a momentary look from three-point land. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. Gave it up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. In the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, it's early out there, but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood. Thanks, Aaron. Ball goes out of play. He 
He attempts the trifecta. Goes. Number 10. And now they'll bring it up. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art. Feeding the post. Sinks it. <laughs> Stolen away. They push it up on the break. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. A little burst to go up in shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Up and inside. The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Contact makes it. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Robs him of the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Good job defensively. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. Jumped in front to take it away. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He strokes it. He's money with the shot. Takes away the pass. They run it up into transition. For two, he gets the bucket to fall. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunton was definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. He has one shot. Rims off. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice touch from the outside.
The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. Isn't it great, Brad? And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, Flop City! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. The Dukes are falling apart mentally. Well, at this point, Brad, they just need to bear down and get it done. Manage their frustrations and get things going in the right direction. With a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. And I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They work the perimeter. He up fakes. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Look at that spacing. He makes a nice shot fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nelson is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. Jumps in. He hits it. That's why we have instant replay cameras. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Tries to get the D to bite. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. <laughs> up fake. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. At the half, the Tigers are down by four. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Duquesne did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys have given too much time to shoot, if you ask me. They basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job the end of the door of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because at the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did early. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He makes the shot.
side. Top of the circle. He drains it. Oh. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, perfectly executed. That's a breakdown. I don't drive him, Coach Bananas. I'll be the loser here. Looking for a good shot. It's stolen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Something inside. The small forward takes the feed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. Strips the ball. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. He launches a three. Duquesne are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Tries for two, in and out, for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Pull up jumper from way out, way off target. Basket falls despite the contact. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. You talk about versatility, there aren't many guys that are going to make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch, impossible to block that shot. He intercepts it. They run it up, steals a pass. And the fans here are loving the action. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Got it. The Tigers are down by eight. Looking for a good shot. And they get the turnover. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Can't get the shot to drop. He bombs from outside. Off the rim and no good. There's the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Ten on the shot clock. For two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. And he'll kick it back outside. He goes for three, drains the shot. The Dukes are up by 12.
picked out of the air. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And again, they look to run. Chamber pounded on his way. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He steps up to the line. Need to make that. Pulls down the rebound. In the paint. Tries for two. The land. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Hard foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Working it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, way off target. On the outside. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. From way outside. Nice shot. We get another look. Double team now, bad angle. He comes away with it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. From the top of the circle. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. He missed it. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. The three balls had a better start flying, baby, because this one's almost over. Number 10 is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. And he scores despite the half. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Picks off the lazy pass. 
They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He puts up the three ball. Makes the shot. They scored seven in a row. Picked out of the air. Dump it inside. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Duquesne are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Arm and foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He misses the first. Makes the second shot. Looking for a good shot from the top of the key. Got it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Looking for a good shot. Fakes a jumper. Ten seconds to put it up. Gets it to fall. The Tigers are down by 16. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. With the jump hook, the Dukes have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Turn around jumper. Can't get the shot to go. He puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. On the outside. Launches away. Goes. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And a momentary look from three-point land. He attempts the three. The Tigers are trailing by 14. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Will 
take the shot way off target. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Stolen away. Jumps into the defender. That's good. Take a look right here. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They work the perimeter. Has a nice look at the basket. Looks at the three. Princeton are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn fade away. The Dukes have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. The dribble gives it up. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Excellent spacing. That's so important in a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Four, four, two. Two, number ten. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Picked off. They'll work it around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. Nice defensive rebound. They cleared ahead in transition. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Looks at a three. Buried it. All four three. 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 Number There's a high screen. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Goes up for two, lays it up. On the inside. And the fans are going wild. Wow, listen to those fans, the crowd is thunderous. They work it around the perimeter. 
on the outside. Wide open for the shot. He puts it up. He gets the bucket. Let's get back to the action. He shoots from the top of the circle. Sinks it. Solid work getting back on D. The Dukes have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Defense giving some room. Ten seconds on the clock. Oh, no. What's he up to now? He's taunting the crowd, Dick. What's he thinking out there? That's what may find him in big trouble with this crowd. Duquesne are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. One on the shot clock. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Let's it fly. He's money with a shot. Gave it up. The point guard takes the pass. Dumps it in. The center gets the ball. There's the trap. Moving it around the perimeter. And we got a whistle and a foul. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Dump it inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The small forward with the ball. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them down. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Duquesne played well against a good team tonight for the win. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.